Well, think about how many single-use plastics you use in a day. Now imagine not using any of those for a month. I can say I can think about a lot. I think about <laughs> a lot. Well, small sacrifices for big change. That's what Spokane Zero Waste and Huckleberries are trying to bring to the Spokane area it's through a global initiative called Plastic Free July. New at 6, Emily Bloom explains what the challenge is all about. Single-use plastics have become a way of life. Coffee cups, straws, water bottles, bags, utensils, food containers, and the list goes on. There's alternatives for each of these, and Plastic Free July is a global challenge with local benefits. It's so insidious and undermining the health and well-being of communities around the country. The effort to bring Plastic Free July to our community was spearheaded by Elise Hogstead, the managing director for Spokane Zero Waste. If you've ever ridden your bike or you know run on a trail or taken your kid out to the park and you just see plastic trash everywhere, we're trying to get rid of that. The problem here is that plastic can't be broken down and they're rarely recycled properly. After 11 years, Plastic Free July has reduced global demand by 2.3% of all bottled water, 3.1% of all fruit and vegetable packaging, and 4% of all plastic straws. As soon as we hold these manufacturers responsible for what they're doing, innovation's going to happen like that. It's there. There are bioplastics, there are, there are methodologies that can be used. They're more costly. Huckstedt says it's an upfront these, investment um, for a long-term benefit. Cheap. Health and well-being of your family and yourself and your community and the river that we depend on. I'm According to Spokane Zero Waste, in 2021, over 26,000 pounds, that's the equivalent of three 18-wheeler trucks of trash, was removed from the Spokane River by volunteers. Much of it, single-use plastics. This will be like a number one thing that people can do is super easy. The irony about plastic or about water in plastic bottles is that it pollutes our water. <laughs> so in drinking water in a plastic bottle, you're actually contributing to water pollution. A small sacrifice by each of us, that is choosing to refuse one single use plastic can have a big payout. Now the hope here is that these small changes have a lasting impact and create a domino effect for many single-use plastics that we use every day. Reporting in studio, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now. Emily, thank you. If you're interested in participating in some of the events they have happening through the month ahead, find this story on KXLY.com.